Here's the reason some of you strong people get disrespected. They can sense that you're strong, man. The people that's hating on you, whether it's the people at your job, your family, your faith friends, at the gym, at your, wherever you at, at your engineering job, your school teaching job, at your um, retail job, we got a lot of haters. A lot of you goes, a lot of you people that's in sales and retail, you're gonna have a lot of haters dealing with, you know what I'm saying? The customers gonna hate on you, coworkers gonna hate on you, um, people that making more money gonna hate on you, management gonna hate on you. Supervisors are gonna hate on you. A lot of you guys are dealing with hate because you are sent. You are heaven sent. And also you're close to God or you're just strong. These people don't like strong. They don't want to have to respect you. When you're strong, sometimes you, some of you guys, they disrespect you because you're nice, but you're strong. So they wanna test you. If you, you, you are a subliminal and silent threat to them. Even though you ain't said nothing, they can sense in your vibe that it's something else with this person. There's something else with this lady. There's something else with this man. They know that your mental capacity is strong, your physical capacity is strong, your emotional capacity, your soul. They keep on testing you. They keep on testing you, man. That's why they test you because you're strong. And like I said, nobody, weak people get a kick out of telling strong people what to do. Thinking they have something that a strong person need and using that against them. You gotta do what I say or I'm gonna take this from you. You better do what I say or this thing. You know what I'm saying? So. So a lot of you people has been experiencing that, man. You have been experiencing people testing you, testing your patience. They wanna see how you gonna react when you get mad, cause they why? Cause they know you are strong. They jealous of the way you handle situations. They jealous of the way you, your happiness. The biggest, the biggest thing that most people hate on is your happiness. That's gonna be the biggest thing that, that's gonna be the biggest thing that you're gonna get hated on. Is your happiness. Your happiness is gonna be the biggest thing that you ever get hated on. <laughs> people don't like wise people. They don't like strong people, wise people. They tell you as a kid, be strong when you get older, be strong-minded, say no. Get your good grades, do this, be excellent, be strong, be strong. Then when you grow up and do everything they taught you, they said to do, then they hate on you. I like, didn't, ain't this, I happen to be one of the kids that do what you tell me to do, and now I'm, you're hating on me because, why are you hating on me? You told me to do this all my life when I was in school. Why are you hating on me? Okay, now that I'm strong and successful, or strong and not successful, but I'm still happy you hating, you hating on me because I'm happy? Why, you got more money than me, but you're hating on me. You're jealous of my confidence? You're jealous of my happiness? You don't, they don't want you to succeed, man. Man, they don't want you to succeed. I'm telling you, they don't. They do not want you to succeed. I'm sorry to tell you. Misery loves company. As long as you're miserable, they ain't gonna bother you. As long as you look stressed, they ain't gonna bother you. They are not going to bother you.
They ain't gonna bother you, man. Happiness is what they hate on the most. Happiness is what this devil hate on you most. All this hating comes from the dark side, the devil side. That's it. All this hating comes from that. It don't come from nothing else. All this hating comes from the devil. The closer you are to the devil, the closer you're going to be, the, the more you're going to hate. The more you're going to hate on people. The closer you are to the devil, the more you're going to hate on people. And that's just how it go. The closer you are to the devil, you're not gonna be happy for people that's laughing, smiling, and looking stress-free. <coughs> that's just the way it go. I advise you to go to church, go watch T.D. Jakes or Creflo Dollar or Bishop Bronner, Joel Osteen. Pray a couple times a day. Read the Bible. Get your heart right. Repent. None of us going to be perfect. You're still going to sin. You ain't going to be perfect. You're not going to be perfect, man. but you will be connected. And at the end of the day, that's all you ask for is to be connected. The devil is taking a lot of people with him, man. A lot of people have chose the devil route. The devil give you a lot of earthly riches, man. This is real out here, bro. It ain't even about fame don't even feel good no more. Attention don't even feel good no more. I can feel something about to go on in the air, Joe. Something about the crack, man. Something is about the crack, man. Something is about the crack. The only thing I can say is get your heart right, get your mind right, get your soul right. Because the dark forces are about to, they are gnashing their teeth. They are trying to grab as many souls they can. They're doing a good job. They're working through whatever draw attention. Whatever draw attention, they working through that. They're trying to draw you in. Them demons want your attention. The devil is trying to get as many souls he can to make God upset because he know his time is short. He know his time is short, man. I'm Alan Ray and much love to you. Follow me on my Instagram link, Alan Ray and Show. That's where I do all the business at, consultations. Um, message me on Instagram at Alan Ray and Show. Link is also in the description box. Um, also, if you if you want the trick that a lot of people are saying is working, it's a trick that I know how to get women, beautiful women of your choice to actually give you attention and run after you and chase you with this small trick. So if you want to know this trick that thousands of guys are benefiting from, it's $40. Uh, message me on Instagram and Alan Ray in their show and uh, tell me you want the, you want the trick. Tricks are for kids, but sometimes experiences are good in this lifetime. You want to know how it feels to get chased by a beautiful woman? I'll tell you the trick. And it will work. And you can get some experience from that. Um, 
So message me on Instagram for that. You want that trick? Um, you want a consultation? Message me on Instagram. Uh, press like, subscribe, hit the bell. Subscribe to my other YouTube channel, TikTok. Watch the next video all the way through. Stay prayed up in Jesus' name. Be your life to Jesus. Go to church, get baptized, and all that good stuff. Go help somebody. Be humble. And stay healthy. I'm Alan Ray there. I'll talk to y'all soon. Press like, subscribe, hit the bell.